Hello, CMP Sharks. It's Miss Amanda from the library. Today we have a special book from the Sea Lion class. It's about growing, being brave, and coming out of your shell. Grasper. Grasper. Written by Paul Owen Lewis. Grasper lived deep between the rocks beside the sea, where he spent his days looking for bits of food, drifting in with the tide. But with so many others there looking too, a scrap of seaweed or nibble of dead fish was all he could hope to find. When one day, Grasper began to feel quite peculiar, almost swollen inside, like he was having a stomach ache. Only he felt this way through his entire body. I feel as if I'm going to burst, exclaimed the little crab. And he was. Like taking off a coat, now too small for him, Grasper's shell split open along his back. And before he knew it, he had crawled backwards outside himself, or at least what used to be himself. There in front of him was his whole shell, his body, legs, claws, and even his eyes. The other crabs in the pool saw this and came running. Surrounding Grasper, they asked, How do you feel? I can hardly move, cried Grasper. But I feel wonderful, like a new crab. What's happened to me? Of course you can hardly move, said one. You've just molted for the first time, and your new shell hasn't hardened yet to help you. Of course you feel wonderful, said another. When a crab's out of his shell, he's out of his mind, too. And that's dangerous, said a third, since a crab must have both a hard shell and a hard heart to survive. Be careful until your new shell has hardened, Grasper, and don't listen to any new thoughts you might have. You're going to feel like walking out in the open on your new legs. You're going to want to see what's over the top of the rocks with your new eyes. You're even going to believe there are better things to eat with your new mouth, warned others in the circle. You mean this has happened to all of you too? Grasper asked. Of course, many times, they shouted. But Grasper couldn't help it. Some time later, he began to ask himself, could there be another world out there? What will I see over the top of the rocks? Maybe there are better things to eat out there. Now he really was having the thoughts they had warned him about. Feeling some strength return to his legs, Grasper began to scramble out from under the rocks. The other crabs ran to block his path. Don't do it, shouted one. These thoughts will pass. Stay here with us, shouted another. It isn't safe out there. The little crab began to climb. Grasper, stop, they cried. No one has ever returned. But it was too late. He had reached the top. Grasper couldn't believe his new eyes. There was a whole world out there. He set off to explore and he found lots of food, a large fish, a shiny treasure, a huge seagull, a powerful wave and a giant. What are you looking at? Asked the huge crab. You, you're so, so, so big, stuttered Grasper. Of course I am, boomed the giant. And you will be too, after you've molted as many times as I have. Me? As big as you? cried Grasper. But how? Where I come from, under the rocks, there are other crabs who've molted many times, but they haven't grown larger. Do they never leave these rocks of yours? he asked. No, they are afraid to, replied Grasper. Well, then, of course, said the crab. Everyone knows a crab will only grow as large as the world he lives in and as big as the heart inside him. You must have a big heart to live in a big world. But they told me I must have a hard heart, not a big heart, said Grasper. A hard heart will not grow, little one. And, he continued, if you're not careful to let your heart grow on the inside of you, neither will your shell grow around it on the outside of you. No matter how many times you shed it, then a soft heart isn't dangerous, asked Grasper. Oh yes, it can be, he replied, but it is the only way a crab can really grow. 
Although Grasper had never heard such things before, he knew that what the giant crab had told him was true. He felt he must tell the others, and carefully he set off to find them again. Look, someone cried, isn't that Grasper? He looks bigger, said another. The little crabs quickly surrounded Grasper and asked, what did you see? Excitedly, Grasper began to tell them about the world beyond the safety of their rocks. The colors, the food, the fish, the treasure, the seagull, the wave, the giant crab, and what he had said. But as he spoke, the little crabs in the circle took their eyes off him, one by one. Most looked at each other. Some looked down and stirred the sand slowly with their claws. Then, before he could finish, one of them broke in and said, Colors and treasures! Giant crabs indeed! Grasper stopped speaking. For a moment, no one said anything. No one would look at him. You don't believe me, do you? Grasper demanded. Of course we do, said one. A crab is likely to imagine many things when he is soft. After all, it's only natural when you're frightened. Why, the last time I was soft, I thought I saw a creature as tall as the sky, walking on only two legs. I once thought I saw a fish as big as the sea that blew air and water out of its head, exclaimed another. The little circle erupted with laughter. See, Grasper, said another, stay here with us and give your shell time to harden completely. Once it does, you won't imagine those things anymore. You'll forget them and be safe again. But I'm sure I saw, Grasper began to say, but something strange was beginning to happen. He couldn't remember clearly. Instead, he said, that's funny. Now that I'm down here again, those things don't seem so real. Maybe I did imagine it after all. Of course you did, said one. Of course I did, repeated Grasper. It's only natural, reminded another. It's only natural, Grasper repeated softly. Grasper was staring blankly at the sand in front of him. The colors, the treasure, even the giant crab faded from his mind. His shell had hardened completely. Grasper passed his time like the others now, climbing through the sand for things to eat. Only one day, a huge shadow passed over him. Grasper looked up and his eyes opened wide. A large fish was swimming over the rocks, just like one who had tried to eat him. I didn't imagine that fish, cried Grasper. Suddenly he could remember again and he began to feel quite peculiar, almost swollen inside, like he was having a stomach ache through his entire body. Then crack, Grasper's hardened shell split open and he was outside of it once again. His heart felt free and soft once more. Quickly, Grasper stumbled to climb up the rocks as best he could on his soft new legs. A few of the other little crabs followed him, scrambling to block his path, but it was too late. Grasper reached the top and so did the others. Oh my, said one. It's beautiful, said a second. Grasper, you didn't imagine it, said a third. Grasper and his friends left their little world between the rocks that day and they never returned.